hey, can I see you if my doctor is out? So y'all, sometimes it happens that your doctor is out of the office or on vacation, having a baby, a family emergency, all sorts of things. Doctors are human beings and they have lives. And so sometimes they aren't available when you need them to be available. And occasionally, if that doctor is in a group or affiliated with other doctors, your question would be to say, hey, I'm not there. Can somebody else hook a brother up? Can somebody else see me? Can somebody else help me with this thing? Whatever that is. And the answer is, it depends. So in big systems, um, most big systems of multiple physicians have an agreement. It's a written agreement. And then there are some contractual obligations for those doctors to cover one another if that doctor, if a doctor is out. Now that's not universal. The thing is, we don't always tell you all that stuff. So you would go, oh, well, obviously I'm at, you know, Health Prime Hospital or I'm at Health Prime Clinic. And if my doctor's not here, obviously somebody's gonna see me. Well, again, it all, it just depends on how they have that set up. In my particular private practice, uh, all the doctors kind of cover themselves. Um, we built it and arranged it so that if you're out of the office for any reason, most times you, unless you're like deathly ill or um, you don't have cell phone coverage or um, internet access, they can generally cover themselves. And so um, in the event that a doctor is out and they don't have access, then generally they will come and say, hey, so-and-so, can you cover me? Blah, 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 blah. You know, I got your back when you go out of town, so on and so forth. And so that's why I said it depends. It all depends on what arrangements the doctors have done behind the scenes, because there are a whole bunch of laws about um, doctors and doctors and um, relationships to patients. And so, for example, um, and uh, I say your mileage may vary because depending on what state you're in and depending on how they wrote the laws, there are certain caveats to all this stuff. And since this podcast is going out into the ether where everybody can hear, and this is where I say, you know, consult your legal team and, and all that kind of stuff. All right. All the disclaimers, all of them. All right. So if a person comes into my practice, which is a private company and they say, Hey, my doctor is out. Can you see me? My first reaction is to think back. Did I talk to that doctor and agree to cover their people? Because if I did not, then technically that person, the patient in front of me, is um, uh, the legal, medical legal obligation falls to whoever is treating because that is the treating person. And so if I jump in there and start jick jacking with things and moving things around and doing things, um, that could be really bad, not, bad only, not only clinically because I don't know what they've been talking about and what they've been doing, but also medical legally. So, um, so yeah, so me as the middle doctor, I, I'm going to be very careful about that and go, whoa, I don't know. I don't know you. You make me nervous. See ya. Right. So um, now if I did agree to cover that person while they're out, oftentimes, I mean, doctors are pretty good at what they do. And so we're really good at checking out with each other. So if, like when I'm going on vacation, I generally will leave a, a list, uh, a very short list, but a uh, uh, but basically a heads up of, hey, so-and-so is probably going to call. This is what you do when they call because they always call. Or, hey, this is what's outstanding or pending. Uh, expect this and do this. If it does this, then do this. You know, hopefully nothing will happen. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So I do kind of like a checkout thing. And so, yes, if I agree with that doctor who's out that I'm covering and then they give me the checkout, then yes, I'm uh, in a sense, I have that. Um, that medical legal coverage, in a sense, uh, to do what's in the best interest of the person at that time, keeping in mind that is very rare for a covering doctor to really um, hugely change a treatment plan unless there are really big extenuating circumstances. So, for example, if a person is, you know, not being safe or, you know, in a, a huge mental health crisis or something, and then it, then it'll fall to the covering doctor to to keep the patient safe, do what's best, even if that includes major shifts um, in the treatment plan. And when we do those major shifts, we document everything so that when that doctor comes back, we go, all right, here's what happened. What ha happened was, and then we run through everything to catch that person up. And so, yeah, so that's why it just depends. So can you see um, another doctor if your doctor's out? Yes-ish. Um, just, just be patient while your doctor 
or the covering doctor or the clinic or the system figures out who is the next best, best person. There is always a person. Uh, I will say that is there's never not a person there. It's just a matter of getting the right person um, to talk to you about whatever the situation is. So, so um, it's a roundabout convoluted answer and I'm sorry that there is not cut and dry and super easy, but you know, I guess the remedy is no doctors ever take vacation, but then we won't have any doctors. So yeah.